We're going to do fresh mozzarella, and you just do it by adding boiling water to it. And the only challenge to making fresh mozzarella is you have to not mind a little pain. And that's the, because you have to put your hands in boiling water. But So then you see it starts to melt. And then for those of us old enough to remember so stretching salt water taffy, it's a little bit like that without the resistance. It's much softer. It's uh, cheese curd specific, cheese uh, curds all look kind of like the same, but this is mozzarella curd. So they made it according to a mozzarella recipe. And what we're doing is the last step of cheese. There's four steps in making cheese. The last step is texturing, and this is the texturing process. And in Italy, there's no such thing as uh, cow's milk mozzarella because in Italy it has to be made from the milk of a water buffalo to be able to call it mozzarella. But in the United States, we don't have a lot of water buffaloes, so we make it from cow's milk. And so you start to see, it starts to get kind of shiny. And then you just start to stretch it a little bit. And then you're just gonna stretch it a little bit just to get all the lumps out and make sure it's fully melted through and soft. And then you'll see mozzarella can be named a bunch of things. You'll see it, uh, it's uh, called bocconcini, which are little teenies. And bocconcini means bite size. Or you got cherignolas, which are cherry size. So depending on the size, it becomes something different. But that's all there is really to it. And then you just ball it up, and it goes into, a salt, into salt water. And then it'll sit in the salt water anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the size you're making. And these are, each one of these is going to be exactly a half pound, because I've made 500 million of these things, and they know exactly what a half pound is. And then you can do a lot of different things with it. We actually sell the curd here, so if you want to try it at home, you can do it. But you can also do things like flatten this out into a sheet, cover it with prosciutto or salami, and then roll it up, and then let it set. Or you can actually make what's called a burrata, which is you take and flatten this out and put it into a cup like a pie crust, and then fill it with heavy whipping cream and shredded mozzarella, and then you tie it up into a ball. And that's called a burrata. And then you serve, and then you wait about three days to let the <coughs> cream get absorbed by the mozzarella a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, and that's really all there is to mozzarella.